Hey there, I'm Kyle, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about what gear I'll be taking with me as I head out to through hike the Pacific Crest Trail and walk from Mexico to Canada. Look who came to play! Hi baby! She's coming with me too. She's knocking at my base weight just a little bit. This is Katya. And this is Zara. Okay, next up is gonna be my clothing. I'll be hiking in Trail Runners. These are the Brooks Cascadia 14, or nine and a half men's. Uh, these together weigh in at 1.36 pounds. I've always in the past used hiking boots because I was told that's what you're supposed to use, you're hiking. Um, but I've been doing a lot of research for this trip and Trail Runners definitely seem the way to go. Um, they still have a lot of traction on the bottom. They have good foot support here. Um, but the great thing about them is that they're not as heavy, they're not as clunky as hiking boots, and they're really breathable, which is good to get some airflow into your feet since they're going to be carrying you across an entire country. And these are definitely not waterproof, but that's good because even if you do have waterproof boots, your feet are going to get wet anyway. Water will find a way in there. And then the waterproofing will just trap the water in there and it will become a nice little sauna for your feet and cause blisters and all sorts of chaos. So this ventilation will help your feet dry out whenever they can. I'll also be carrying a set of down booties. So these are just socks with like a sleeping bag material filled with down. Uh, these together weigh 0.18 pounds and these are the Goose Feet Gear Down Socks Medium um, with a 50% overfill of down. And again, like I said, I sleep pretty cold at night, and so I want to make sure that I don't have to worry about getting too cold. So if I do get too cold, these will keep my feet nice and warm. The hiking socks I'll be carrying are going to be the Darn Tough Hiker Quarter Cushion Socks. And I'll be carrying two pairs of these weighing at 0.31 pounds total. So that way I can be wearing one pair, have a clean pair, and then after a day, I can wash these in a stream or... Um, in a lake, I can hang these on the back of my pack to dry and I can put on a fresh pair and then repeat the process. I'll be carrying a set of Dirty Girl Blackout uh, Gaiters, size large. So these just go over your ankle and strap onto your shoe in the back and in the front. And they basically just keep out sand, dust, rocks, dirt. I've never used these before, but people rave about them, especially in the desert section of the PCT with all that sand and grit getting in your foot and having a stop and shake out your shoe every five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and give these a try. These together weigh in at 0.12 pounds. For underwear, I'll be carrying the Ex Officio Give and Go Boxer Briefs. I'll be carrying two pairs of these and together they weigh in at 0.33 pounds. So again, similar to socks, I can wear one for a day um, or two and then I can wash it, uh, throw it in the back of my pack to dry and put on a second pair. And then when these get dirty, I can do the same thing. Uh, Ex Officio, I really, really like. I've used these for all of my hiking trips. Um, they're super comfortable. For shorts, I'm going to be carrying the REI on the trail running shorts. These are men's, uh, weighing in at 0.09 pounds. I'll be carrying the REI midweight base layer bottoms made out of merino wool. These weigh in at half a pound, so they are a bit heavy, but they're super cozy, super comfy, and super warm. For my top base layer, I'll be carrying the REI midweight merino half zip. And again, this one is super comfy and super warm and it's made out of merino wool. So it's really good at wicking moisture away from you. And this also weighs half a pound. Now, both of these base layers I'll be using as my warm night clothes. So I will do my best not to wear these during the day. So at night, I'll always have something relatively clean, um, but definitely dry and warm that I can put on to sleep in. My pants that I'll be hiking in are the Koala Tree Trailhead Slim Fit Pants. These weigh in at 0.68 pounds, so they are pretty heavy. But I really like them. They have a cinch, uh, they have a tie cinch down at the bottom um, and a tie cinch up at the top. And they are water resistant. So I'm not going to be carrying rain pants. I'll be carrying these. Yes, they'll probably wet out if I do get stuck in a storm. Um, but for the most part, I find these to be really comfortable, really stretchy, and do a good job protecting my legs. My long sleeve top that I'll be wearing for the majority of the trip is going to be my Patagonia Men's Long Sleeve Soul Patrol 2 shirt. Uh, this weighs in at half a pound as well. I really like this shirt because it has a lot of ventilation. It has this 
nice big flap in the back, um, and a lot of ventilation in the sides over here as well. It also, you can roll up the sleeves and button those sleeves up here to make them short sleeved. So in the desert, I have the flexibility depending on how strong the sun is that day. And I just really like the color of this one too. My puffy jacket that I'll be bringing is the Patagonia Men's uh, Nano Puff Jacket. This jacket weighs in at 0.74 pounds. Um, and this is made out of synthetic material, so it doesn't matter if this gets wet. Like with down, this will still keep you nice and insulated no matter the weather. My rain jacket that I'll be bringing is the North Face Venture 2 jacket. This weighs in at 0.68 pounds. And I've always used this same jacket on all my backpacking trips. I find it keeps me super dry, um, at least up here. If it starts storming, it hasn't wetted out before. And it has these pit zips right here. So even if it is hot out, I can still vent out and get some good airflow through my jacket. I'll be taking two sets of gloves. The first one um, are just kind of normal uh, windproof gloves. These are called serious windproof gloves and they weigh 0.24 pounds. Um, and these will just be what I'm using if my hands get chilly. Um, but these ones are over knits. So these are the REI Minimalist GTX mittens and these weigh in at 0.1 pounds and these ones are waterproof. So that way, if it is not only cold, but it's rainy and cold, I can put these gloves on and then I can put my waterproof over mitts on top of that so I still have some dexterity in my fingers, um, but these will keep me nice and dry. I'll be carrying this um, lightweight merino wool buff and this weighs in at 0.11 pounds and you can use this as a scarf, you can use this as a headband, you can use this as a face covering if it's super cold. Um, this has a lot of uses and I bring this on all of my trips. I'll be carrying a bandana as well to just try to keep control of my hair throughout this trip. Um, and this is just a normal cotton bandana, it weighs in at practically nothing. And I'll also be bringing a beanie. This is the Cole Headwear Solid Mustard Beanie. This weighs in at 0.18 pounds. I'll be bringing a hat as well. So this is just one of my favorite hats. Um, and this hat weighs in at 0.2 pounds. And it's just to keep the sun off my face and again, try to keep control of what I'm sure is gonna be a nasty head of hair. I'll also be carrying this fashion statement. This is the Sea to Summit head net. This weighs literally nothing. Um, and it is going to help keep all the annoying bugs and what I hear are just absolutely terrible mosquitoes in the Sierras off of my face. And all of those clothes are just going to be going right in here into this little mesh organizing sack. Um, this specifically is the REI Mesh Stuff Sack 5 liter and this weighs nothing. So the actual backpack that I'll be taking is a new backpack. I've been using uh, the Deuter Act Light for my past couple trips and it was super, super comfortable but it was also super heavy. It weighed almost four pounds. So I switched that out for the Z-Packs Arc Haul. Um, I really like what I've seen from this bag and how it's felt so far on my couple shakedown hikes I've taken it on. It is incredibly lightweight. Uh, it weighs in at about a pound and a half. Um, this bag is really cool because it doesn't really have much of a structure to it. All it has is, oh, let me get closer. It has these two uh, really lightweight metal stays in the side of it. And you can cinch those stays down to give it the arc that it's named for, and that will keep the actual pack off your back. And so your back will only be on this mesh netting, if you can see that, which will be really nice to get some airflow through my back as I'm hiking. And when you get rid of a lot of the framing, this pack again gets super, super lightweight. This pack is also meant to be waterproof, um, so I don't need to worry about carrying a outside pack liner to keep the rain off this bag. This bag will be waterproof on its own. And it's roll top, so there's just one big pouch inside. So I'll show you here. It's just one big pouch inside, which makes it just really simple and easy and convenient. And that's what I want when I'm on the trail. I don't want to be messing with a bunch of stuff. I just want simplicity. Now, I customized this bag with ice axe loops to carry my ice axe on it, um, a bee strap that goes over the top so it can carry my bear can when I'm in the Sierras. Uh, I put these belt pouches on the side which are really big and can carry my phone and a bunch of snacks. I also put 
this little stick on pouch on the inside so I can put my wallet, cash, and all of my permits and papers that I have with me so I always know where they are because it's stuck to the inside of the pouch. I added a water bottle holder to the strap so I can store one of those smart water bottles right here so I don't have to try to reach around and grab a water bottle. It'll always be right here for me to grab. So with all those modifications, that bag ended up weighing 1.75 pounds. Now that bag is waterproof, but you always want redundancy in your waterproofing systems. So for a pack liner, I'll be using this high-tech, just trash compactor bag. Um, this weighs in at 0.1 pounds, and it's gonna be super replaceable if this does wear down throughout the trip. And I'll be storing anything that I really don't wanna get wet in this, and then I can just cinch it down and throw it in my bag. So this is where I'll be keeping my uh, down sleeping bag because you definitely don't want a down bag to get wet because it'll lose all of its insulating properties. So all in all, my pack and that liner weigh 1.88 pounds and is 9% of my overall base weight. Next up is electronics. So I'll be carrying this Eddie Bauer LED headlamp that I've had for a while. It's 80 lumens, it takes three AAA batteries that I can always replace on trail if need be, and it weighs in at 0.18 pounds. I like this one because it has a bright setting, a dim setting, and a red setting, so if I do night hiking, this red setting will be really convenient. And it also flashes. I'll be taking with me my iPhone 7 Plus. This weighs in at 0.52 pounds. And I'll be taking the uh, just Apple corded headphones with them with the lightning jack. Uh, this weighs in at practically nothing. I'll be taking with me the Garmin Mini inReach. So this is a two-way satellite communicator device. So I may or may not have service for most of the trail. So this I will almost always be able to communicate with both two people and I will be able to receive communication from people. So this is two-way, which makes it really nice. Um, you can also download maps to this. So you'll always have satellite maps um, and this can get weather alerts as well via satellite. So I'm really excited about this one. Uh, this weighs 0.22 pounds, and the most important feature is this SOS button on the side. So if I do run into a bad situation and I break my leg and I'm five days from the nearest town, I can always flip that safety hatch and push the button. It'll alert a search and rescue team. To charge all that stuff while I'm on trail, I'll be taking this power bank, which is the Anchor Power Core Essential 200,000 milliamp hour power delivery. And this thing is gonna be able to charge my phone about seven times over, which I'm really excited about because I'll be taking a lot of videos to share with all of you folks. Um, so I'll be able to power my phone and my satellite beacon all from this power bank on trail. And then when I get back into a resupply town, I can just charge up this power bank and keep going from there. And this power bank weighs in at 0.76 pounds. In order to charge this power bank when I get to towns, I'll be carrying this, which is just a small charging block. This is the Oakley Power Delivery USB-C wall plug. So I wanted to make sure I got the power delivery with the USB-C so that it can charge almost twice as fast as a normal USB-A plug. With that, I have a USB-C to USB-C cord to make sure I can get that extra fast power delivery charge. And while I'm out on trail, I'll be using this cord with this charger and then two adapters. So I'll be using my USB-C to lightning adapter to charge my iPhone, and I'll be using my USB-C to micro USB charger to charge my GPS system. These cords, adapters, and wall block all weigh in at a little less than 0.1 pounds. And then all those electronics are gonna be stored in this small Sea to Summit uh, lightweight dry sack. It's two liters, and now I can just make sure that there's, again, redundancy with my waterproofing and that I don't need to worry about any of that frying while I'm out on trail. So all in all, my electronics weigh 1.76 pounds and account for 9% of my total base weight. So in the third and final video on my gear, I'll be going over my first aid, hygiene, Sierra gear, and the miscellaneous gear. And if you missed it, in my first video, I went over my cook and my sleep systems.